Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd show you how to use your uh, Windows 10 PC as a uh, Bluetooth speaker for your iPhone, for your iPad, or for your Android device, or any other device that can use a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, the first thing is, Windows used to do this in Windows 7, but Microsoft disabled the ability to do this. It's actually called... Uh, a2DP sync and they just re-enabled it in the uh, May 2020 update of uh, Windows 10 and that update is numbered version 2004 uh, so you need to make sure that you have the May 2020 update installed on your machine if you don't already have it installed otherwise uh, this won't work and then we have to also add an app to get it to work because it won't work without adding some app uh, to uh, kind of facilitate the kind of the final step of it. It's basically has kind of the driver and the structure in it, but we need an, an app to run it. And I have an app here that I'll show you that we can install and it will work. Uh, so one problem is, is if you already know about this and you've installed it and are wondering why it doesn't work is that it needs a program to do it so other programs will start to support this feature but the program I'm going to show you is something that you can just upload as well so let's get started so first make sure you have the Windows 10 um, May 2020 update in and once that is in uh, it's uh, relatively simple to set up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the window here. I'm going to type control panel. You can also do this through settings, but it's easier through the control panel. Uh, so I have the control panel set up here. You might see the view like this by category. If you do, go to view right here and go to uh, large icons. Uh, this is the easiest way to get into it. And we're going to go to Devices and Printers. And the first thing we need to do is we need to um, connect our uh, iPad or our Bluetooth device that we want to use uh, uh, to this. And uh, this is the device that we want to use the speakers on our PC uh, as you know in the audio output so what you need to do is you need to go here to add device and it will it will start to look around and detect uh, devices that you can connect it may take a minute to do this all right so it, it came up with my ipad that's the name of my ipad is my ipad your ipad might say uh, have your name and uh, ipad on it or whatever you named it uh, by default with an ipad it, it usually has your first name uh, if you're using android it's a similar uh, process you just find the device that you're looking for so let's select this and we're going to go next All right, so it comes up with this uh, passcode. I'm going to hit yes right here. And then on my Bluetooth device, or on my uh, iPad in this case, or if it's your cell phone, you should get a little message box here that tells it, asks you to pair it. So you just hit pair on that. On your device. If I go back to uh, devices and printers and right click on my iPad that is now uh, appears and go to sound settings and then click the recording tab, you'll see there's a thing here that says my iPad. So this is uh, the, uh, the input of my iPad right here. But the arrow here is uh, red and down and if you tried it, connect to it you can't and that's because we need a third-party application to actually uh, get this to work you now need to download this app which you can get on 
the Microsoft Store. Uh, it's called Bluetooth Audio Receiver. Uh, here's a description right here. You can just do a search for it on uh, the uh, Microsoft Store and it should appear. And you just uh, download it and install this program. And if we go back down here, let's start up the program. It's a real simple program. You need to leave the window open. You can have the window minimized, but it has to be open in order for this to work. And it will list uh, any uh, Bluetooth devices you can use to connect to your speaker. In this case, it's my iPad. So if I click on this and select it and go open connection, I'm now connected. And once that happens, uh, I can now use the speakers of my PC uh, by just playing an app on my iPad. And so that's how you connect up uh, your iPad or any other uh, Bluetooth device to your PC to use it as a speaker. So once this is on, you just use it as normal and it will actually play through your speakers. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.